Let's go into this then, the last series of War 3 Champions Season 9. Afterwards, we're gonna have double digits, and it's quite impressive that we are going for Season 10 a bit, but we have to finish Season 9 first. For the very, very first time in War 3 Champions history, this is a best of seven, and as you can see in our bracket right here, thank you, War 3 uh, community, for updating Liquipedia, probably to Stoka. This is a 1-0 advantage. Soen defeated Focus, Happy, and Foggy on his way there. And since he's coming from the winner bracket, that gives him a 1-0 advantage in this best of seven. He needs to win three maps to take it home. Happy was defeated by Soen, as we said, 2-0, and zero, but then destroyed Hawk and Focus and Foggy. Lost one map in the entire lower bracket and stands where he belongs. The winner of season 7 about to reclaim the throne. If not, we're gonna have the first big title in the career of Soen and the first Korean championship in War 3 Champions season finals. Without further ado, Mr. Remo Demo, let us go onto the cold lands that are Northern Isles. Hells yeah, let's do it. I got such a big smile on my face, man. It's always so wonderful. The War 3 Champions project just in general. And every time we come together here to celebrate the ladder, the team, the scene for this War 3 Champions finals. And this is the grand final. The first time we have it as a best of seven. And as you just so nicely explained, 1-0 lead for Soen because of the upper bracket where he came from. This is the rematch. And, you know, especially in DreamHack, we saw quite a few rematch curses, right? Where it was uh, the loser of the previous match, having learned his lesson and then coming back stronger. Will that be the time? Will it be occurring again this time? Or can Soen, for the first time, claim the championship for Korea? That would be quite something. Happy last time when he won that championship, he was against an orc that was focused. It was incredibly close. 3-2 to two grand finals there. The hosting situation was still a little different. This should be more even between the players now. Nobody really has a massive advantage. And we see, oh, of course, nothing else but Fasia, Headhunters, DK, Tedfiends. Yeah, this is definitely the standard, certainly between these two, but also in the meta in general at the moment. Don't really think we're going to see a deviation away from that as far as openings go. Certainly not from Happy. A Blade Master first is always a possibility, but also seems a little unlikely nowadays in uh, what the meta looks like. And it's going to be a lot about the level ups, especially from the Orc side. We saw a fast level three Farseer being very crucial to get, being ideal to get early to then create space and uh, move into a strong mid game. On this map, it's pretty hard to get a good level 3 Farseer creep route early game, I think. That is why you go for Raz. You still have the wolves, and in Soin's case, a lightning shield. Hmm. Can he get a last hit here? Against the coil, almost impossible, but goes for the skeleton. Gets a little bit of experience here, and once again, pressure on the DK. That's level 2. Chain lightning a tad too early, and he can't prevent level 2. That would have been huge, man. That level 2 prevented, that aura being missing would have been wonderful for Soen. I love mentioning it over and over because it's definitely uh, very true. That aura makes all the difference in the world. And that replenishment potion also being a nice help here for Happy. He was very low mana, gonna recover some of that now. And I like this by Soen. He's not bringing the headhunters across the map to look to do damage that he's not gonna be able to achieve. No, he's continuing to creep instead. Again, all about that level 3. Acolyte killed, but by Happy Sword himself, so no extra experience. Gets it now from a skeleton. And also, yeah, uh, to add once again to the point that you just made, then the Headhunters will be out of range of the Dark Ranger. Okay, Happy is moving towards the red spot, but of course not uh, approaching this. Mm, losing a bit of time here. Oh, the Wolf Scout was so close. Soen is looking for Happy. He's wondering where he is, and he's playing afraid. The Headhunter's in the back of the base. He thinks maybe Happy is chasing him, looking for kills. He lost track of him. Slight mistake by Soen. Normally, between Farseer and Wolves, you're never supposed to lose sight of the undead, but Happy here, playing a very evasive game, and now managing to creep up very nicely. Wind of Mana stealing. Nice to have. 
Tier 2 around the corner. Dark Ranger around the corner. Skeleton is already going for a drink at the tavern. In five seconds, the lady will be there. Wolf Scout in the main. He's not happy he's not here either. What's the tech timing? Doesn't really see it, but he should be able to assume so. So, so and taken off the map for now, and that gives map control to Happy, and that's one of the two big spots. Yeah, these two items in the middle can be absolutely game-turning, uh, depending on how lucky you get. Flirt of Accuracy! Well, that's exactly what he wanted. Okay, then. Wolves level two now. And that could cause some trouble, but Soen again misses him. Now the Farseer finds, and that is a very hurt DK. Coil, Chain Lightning lasted by Soen, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Soen gets a DK still, not quite level three, and the Hellstone had to be used early. Very nicely done by Soen indeed, even using the Lightning Shield on the Wolf. And the one of mana stealing basically also had to be used already. And another time, and I think the health stone as well that he just found that kept the DK or got the DK back to green HP, made it so he doesn't have to use the town portal. Lots yep. of consumables used. Yeah, that was very nicely done by Stone pulling these out of happy. But also, these are consumables that the TC is not going to get. TC who now joins and is going to be creeping on his side, going to get a fast level 2. TC does need invulns. Would I love to have heal pots and mana pots as well? And uh, he certainly won't be getting any from the middle. But we'll be getting one consumable here. Hoping for one of those that I mentioned. And there we go. Heal potion. Very nice. Oh... Forces another coil. The statues are not here yet, but nicely closing the door to the Farsia Khan chase. It's down to the wolves. He will be able to take care of them. There's another coil. The fiend is safe. A uh, couple of shots here, but I think the time for the Farsia harass is soon to be over. But the TC is making good progress. Heal potion, very nice to have as hero focus in this matchup is uh, not a rare sight. And ha! Nice creeping of the Furberg. He's so out of position now. Oh, that's super cool. It's a very safe creep as well. And what we see here is the Farseer tremendously slowing Happy down. This is exactly why you need level 3 Farseer fast. You can really put on a lot of pressure with the wolves, especially before statues are there. But now the statue is here, and now the Farseer can't really do too much anymore. Still trying to just uh, annoy and slow down Happy as much as he can, but can't really get any deaths or anything like that. So nice early game by Soen. Didn't get the middle camp, but also didn't lose headhunters. The TC is creeping. The one thing that's a bit surprising here is the fact that the tech is basically at the same speed. Normally the orc is supposed to be a little ahead there. Yeah. Not too sure why. Were there extra expenses somewhere? I don't really see it. Fasia could have gotten to the shop, but oh wow, that TC approaching the Magnetor Reva with Happy right on his heels, but he's taking a pit stop. And the seal locks the Magnetor. Someone's creeping is incredible. That's the item here, would love to find an aura, but also medallion for the TC is really good. Lots of HP now on the second hero. Would also love to have some bonus armor, but didn't find any rings actually. Not yet, at least there's not too much left. Happy will approach the bottom right. See it. Here's a marketplace, of course, if he really wants to. He can go for a ring there. Shadowhunter coming. Berserker upgrade coming. No reinforced defenses yet. No defense upgrades yet. Might be a little fragile of a build by Soen. It seems like the two should meet pretty soon. In the top left, there's still a lot of booty left to be claimed. We got the Arachnithids, we got the Red Camp, of course, also the Lab. And you want to get that experience, you want to get those items. You also want to get the Invul Potion. So when is the one to claim it? That's a big deal. And Dust. Happy in this matchup, still going for a lot of Burrow. Now he has a solution against that. Creepjack, inbound by Happy. Can someone retreat in time? So he wants to wait for the Shadowhunter to join. There he is. Lich, by the way, not here yet. So when does he have a window? Speed scroll, he runs in. Yes, he's feeling confident. Wand of Illusion blocks the TC away. He can't even get into range. He's also silenced. Now the TC comes through. Gonna pop the Invo Potion, breaking out the silence. 
Only hits one feet with the Stomp. Shadowhunter, way too far forward. Terribly out of position, the Shadowhunter. Not in the right place at all. Level one hero falls, but so and so wants to fight. Okay, ends there and right clicks from the TC coming in. Headhunter's still alive. It's a matter of seconds until the Dark Ranger and Litz are switching their uh, focus, but the fiends are suffering heavy thanks to the lightning shield. Well done by Soen thus far. But now, DK, Dark Ranger trying to raise the dead. The TC now also needs to be careful. Kodo comes in, gets the devour actually, but with coil, may not quite make it out. TC finds the stomp once again. Chain Lightning, Fiend goes down, Lich perhaps also in trouble, Lich Death very squishy, Destroyer falling, Lich one more Nova being used, but Hero might be dropping, DK has one coil left only, Stop! and the Stomp comes through to secure the kill, Lich goes down, heavy losses on both sides. Oh my, but still 10 supply leads, last second coil, tremendous fight, insane micro, is so an overcommitting, he has no mana, no HP anymore, but on the other side also, no statue, which is usually the longevity of undeads in these fights, so and took them out, prioritized them really, really well. And is playing this game with 10 food more. Shadowhunter is back as well, saves the Raider to the side. So in. What a performance here in this tournament. Yeah, definitely taking the lead. Happy there. I think with the Lich a little too careless with the positioning. But damn, this was super high level on both sides. And the Invul Potion is, I think, what made the biggest difference. Yeah. Happy, perhaps not prioritizing the Invul Potion enough. It needs time for both to heal and regen up. Lich is back, Shadowhunter is back, Shadowhunter solo creeping now. Next fight will have heal wave and you know what's available at the shop right now? Exactly, dust and invo potion. And you can never forget about that dust. You need to take out as many fiends as you can. So it is looking good here in this game. Four and a half on the Farsi, and a little four on the TC. That level two aura is also a big help. Happy's army, tiny, 38 supply only. He has to rely heavily on his heroes. As so often, hero focuses always the way back. Level two Lich for Frost Armor. Claws of attack number two. This Lich is a big birder. Oh, so and almost attacking the rat spot, but Happy's here. We have heal wave now, but it's only level one heal wave. Not that huge of a heal as we can see here. So in backing up, trying to get into a better position. TC breaks through the silence with the Invul Potion. Huge stomp. And he's got two more. Raiders taken out. Almost a heal wave. Lifesaver ends their focus fire. Once again dealing with the fiends. Takes out the damage. Keeps the control in the fight. Raider nicely microed away. And the second fiend falls. As the DK has no mana already. Five seconds into the fight. Oh, Dispel on cooldown, the Destroyer just used it! Mistake by Happy! Using the Dispel on the Wolves, I think it was, and the Lich goes down again. This could be the game for Soen right here. Skellies can't quite get the kill, almost were able to get the oh. Raider. Soen with a big lead, and that should be his red camp finally. 15 supply now! Let's take a look at the XP, going further and further into Soen's direction. 4-4-2! Four, four, Scratching at 5-4-3. Happy is back with mana. Of course, you can't steal the Magnetor. And that's the TP out. He claims Katka's pipe! Ooh. Oh, TC! TC is stuck! No, wait. Speed, Speed scroll, scroll, though? Needs to dispel. Gets it! Uh-oh, Fiend block. Oh, my God. Stomp. Lich is not in range. Holy... Oh, Jesus Christ. My nerves. <laughs> my BPM. Through the roof, Soen almost throwing that game away, but just barely. Oh my god. Sick game. What a map to start off our grand finals. <laughs> the Soen level of play is so incredible, yes. Only a few creeps remain on the map. Soen shows that this performance on... Uh, Friday was no fluke. He wasn't gifted that win. He deserves it. Both at 50 and, again. And he just got the third invuln of the game. S quickly starting to look like the big mistake by Happy here in this match. Not prioritizing these invulns enough. Both at 50, as you mentioned. Going to the middle. Happy getting creepjacked. 
Okay, there's not too many creeps left, but the ensnares can be quite tricky. Marketplace right around the corner. TC again. No silence. The splits are absurd once more. And there's still no level 2 heal wave. Kodo got a snack. And that Kodo got dodged, I think. Oh man, scrappy fight. It seems like someone isn't killing anything. What's defocusing? Ensnares couldn't be used. Raiders are all dead. Now it's hard to get these kills. The TC is strong, but the headhunter is quickly dying. And we have so many skellies on the field. Exactly. TC got a carry. Comes in with a new stomp. Two destroyers in the air. Good weapon against the wolves. So far, happy for the first time in forever has taken the supply lead. But here's a level 5 Farsia. And the statues might be out of the fight for good. Two destroyers still in the air though. And double level up. Lich finally gets three. Double kill also on the Berserkers. Four, four, three heroes now for Happy. And he's chasing for more. It looked good for Soin just mere moments ago. But Happy may have turned it around now. Chasing into the orc base. What was that fight? So many skeletons were up initially already. And now there's barely any mana. Despite the Katka's pipe. He would love to have a uh, Spirit Walker with the spell doesn't really work. Hero Focus, name of the game, Chain Lightning. Only level 2, yet getting the kill. The Walkers, two heroes about to fall. Here wave, last second, can't help against the mighty, mighty Hero Focus of the mighty, mighty Emperor. Oh my goodness, no fiends left, but still the hero standing and statues will be coming in soon. And so is losing everything in return with a healer dead. And the TC surrounded. He's got the Invo Potion still though, and close to a stomp. Kodo almost taken out. That will result in a damage loss. Raider falls instead. Soen seems like he's staying alive for now. Level 5 TC. Oh, level 5. Also on the DK. <sighs> Save and now the statue stuff. comes in again. And this region uh -oh. might be enough to close out the game. Close to losing two heroes here is Soen oh! summoning the wall. Trying to block. No mana for the nuke at the moment. Stomp has to come in. But he can only what? run, though. Now what? What can he do? Running into his grave. Oh! Invo potion, last second. What the hell? <laughs> we saw a little bit of a spike there by Soen. He was definitely lying there towards the end. Sick game. Monumental lead now, of course, for Happy. With the late game high level heroes as he's done so many times before he's waiting for the Invo Potion to what run out. Do? What can he the do? The TC is the carry, but he is dead. That looks so like game awesome. to me. Ho, wow. ho, ho, ho. Did Happy just win six games in a row? Uh, he, yeah, he did. True. Two against Focus, three against Foggy, and now number six. <laughs> that's, that's so insane. And the first map in this tournament that he is winning against Soen, but that was also his very map, his number one map. Dude, how close was that though? The Lich going yeah. down, some really good control there by Soen in the early fights in the top left. But that middle engagement was completely botched. It seemed yeah. like he was just on a click and attacking skellies. And, uh, well, that's not what you can do there in the late game. He was over eager there for sure. Maybe saw his hands on map number two already. The 2 0 lead would be such a big level of comfortness. But no. No. One overcommitment. We've seen this from Focus already. Yep. Exactly the same. Whew. Dude, if these games keep going like this, super hype back and forth, we are in for one hell of a grand final. Oh, yeah. Happy ties it up, equalizes at 1-1, and we continue this best of seven. That's my kind of workout. That's my kind of entertainment. And yeah, I guess uh, that little lack at the end didn't really do much anymore. The game was probably decided at the fight at the tavern at Marketplace. Here, we do have a Marketplace as well in the tavern too. It's a lot less cold though. Tight Hunters. We're Euro expecting... Pimp, thank you for the sub. Perfection, thank you for the five month resub. Incinerator, thank you for the 40 month resub. Thank you for the great tournament. Loving it. Wonderful. 
And Thank now, you guys, very much. Map two. We're expecting more of the same as far as openings go. Ted Fiends against Fasty Headhunter with a bit of creeping at the beginning. Get level two, maybe then a bit of harass. I wonder, are we gonna see one single Blade Master maybe mixed in, or is this just gonna be Farseer all the way? Wait, I can definitely see it somewhere, especially if the series is not going as well as Thorn thinks it is. Just as a little, little bit of a surprise, taking Happy out of his comfort zone to stop his momentum at least for a little bit would be a good uh, strategic trick. And we got another 10 gifted subs by Grimbad. The wonderful. Whoop, whoop, thank you. Yeah, depends on the map as well, I guess. This is a great Farsi Headhunter map. You can creep and harass very well here. You can be very present in the middle. Farsi are very good in the early game and mid game. Blade Master, exactly the other way around. Very good in the late game. Not so good early and mid game. I think on Tower Rock, for example, Blade could be really, really strong. And yes. that would be map number four. So we're definitely going to get to see it. Oh, and map number three, by the way, mm -hmm. is Shattered Exile, which is yes. going to be very fun. Love that for sure. Put a smile on my face as well when I saw that. So the big winner bracket advantage equalized. But this series shows it could go either way on any of the maps. We start at the Turtles. A player's force and the Warcraft world is really not too nice to Turtles. Well, that's what they get for eating salad all day. <laughs> the what the? Yeah. That's, uh, that's such a weird statement. It doesn't even make sense, Neil. It makes that's no it, sense at that's, all. That's, that's why the turtles are also so confused. Happy again with the same creep route. We've seen that like four times now in a row by him. Happy there. Very predictable. Oh, there was almost an opportunity there to seal the last hit. But super fast creeping by Happy now. We've seen him here be a little bit slower and take way more damage. But look at that. Super clean. Gets the two items and the DK is basically full health. Yes. Headhunters are streaming in, trying to contest this. Steal a little bit of XP away from Happy. Always good. There's no level 2 yet. Always good. And there won't be for a little bit, but the Murlocs might give it to him. No Chain Lightning here. Basically no chance to steal anything. He's close to getting it though. Oh, there we go. Big Lasset. Happy gets it with the coil, but items stolen. Slippers for the fast here. Wolf block as well. And now we have a lot of damage on this DK. 150 HP only. Chain lightning would only tickle him. So he's saving the mana for more wolves in the early game. Nice deny by that fiend. Can't reach, can't block. But I guess the one's game plan so far working out. Yeah, we'd love to steal the rest of the Murlocs here away. So Happy doesn't get level two too easily. But of course, there's still the orange camp available. So it needs to be aware. The Dark Ranger will be coming out soon, and then things get a bit tricky. So it has been doing an amazing job at always keeping the headhunters safe. Wants to keep them all alive if he can into the mid game. Speaking of mid game, two thirds of the tech are done. Seems like Happy is a little faster in this department. Still no level to that Murloc is huge. Happy not even throwing a coil for it. Rather goes for headhunters. Yeah, if he throws the coil and then the chain lightning hits first, then it's going to be a very bad feeling and you will have wasted a lot of mana and don't get that level two. Love but someone also is... protecting the headhunter very well. Exactly. Gold play. Exceptional. Oh, Happy wakes up the creeps. Shouldn't That's a be... cute move. Ah, didn't really do too much, actually. DK attack. moves away towards the tavern, going for... His best buddy, Dark Ranger. I think the Lich is jealous that the Dark Ranger is getting picked more and more. Second. Well, it's only in this one matchup. I hope the Lich can deal with that. And also on map one, in the end, it was the Lich who received all the claws items, right? So True. the question is, who is the favorite, really? <laughs> Farsi on the way to three, TC coming in. I think build-wise, we won't see much diversity here. And to be honest, I'm kind of happy about that. I don't want to see big experiments here. Both builds for both players are working so well. It's basically down to how well do I get to tier three? 
how much can I be uh, a roadblock for my opponent on his way to level 3 and then it's yep. all about execution in the big fights. And so far it's been a very even game. No units lost. Experience also pretty even. Farseer of course having the level lead here but the Dark Ranger quickly getting XP as well. TC only coming out now. That's of course the disadvantage for Orc here. Second hero is much later, whereas the Dark Ranger can start getting stuff done right away. And there's gonna be a big item up here. What's the consumable? Is it time for the big mana train? Here we go. <sighs> Unbelievable. Level 2 Dark Ranger for the silence. Level 2 Wolf still. And yeah, this is of course now Coil for days, but if you can prevent a big mana post from being used in a big fight that would be the ideal scenario for the farseer here while he's covering for the tc to creep yeah this is why the farseer crept the gnolls uh, just a moment ago before the tc came out you really want to have that level three you want to be able to create that space and slow down the undead with only level one wolves that it would not be doable it's also not that easy to continue creeping right now for the TC. All camps here are pretty hard to take. Yes. A player's Without wolves, that is. So the Farseer turns back. Happy. Getting oh. more skeletons. Huh? One headhunter unfortunately dies to the creeps. It's not the end of the world. Headhunters are pretty cheap, but you know, every little thing can matter. And Happy, I think he's preparing a push into Soen's base. Look at all the skeletons again. Happy should be aware, though, that the tier 3 for the Orc is about to finish, so this could be a bit of an anti-timing. Oh, what a scout as well by the illusion here. Soen sees this push coming. Farseer should head back. I don't think Happy can do too much here, because Berserker training about to finish. But how do you get level 3 TC and level 2 Shadowhunter if the giant sea turtle and the expansion are both crept away? Happy, by the way. The big mana was amazing for him, but he found three rings as well. That certainly wasn't what he hoped for. Mm. Gonna have to TP out here. He can trade them. He will go to the marketplace, sell them all, and get more damage and more mana. He's also pooling some units in the main. Yeah, as he was so far across the map, he didn't want to get them intercepted, I guess. I think he's going to keep the rings, at least two of them. We've seen how even the DK can drop pretty quickly if he's far up in front. Alright, TC level 3. There we go. That's the big level that he needed. And that item is going to be very welcome as well. Ooh, flute this time on Soen's side. Has a good win rate today. Of course, not a game-breaking item, but very much appreciated. Second big camp. Waiting for happy now. Dark Ranger will soon be joined by Lich. Shadow Hunter will soon join the army of Soen. All the builds stay the same. Soen heading north to go for the red camp, which he could certainly take. Very unusual creep patterns here in the mid game. Normally in the mid game, we mostly see the south being contested, with the turtles being so rewarding. Also the red camp. The red camp is gone, but the turtles are still there. And also the gnolls and stuff, but there's still lots of creeps remaining there in the south, which is not so normal. So we're now gonna grab the red camp. This could be another huge item. Did he see him at the red? No. Happy is going to the south, claiming the consumables. The permanent item. Ah, oh, so it messes this up a little bit. Okay, this will cost a little bit of time, a couple of seconds. I think he just wanted to snipe it. Now he's forced to creep this entirely. And Happy's turning all around. A lot of experience that the Shadow Hunter is not getting. Just only came out. Item is Medallion, Medallion of Courage. Again, very good item. Another Berserker died, by the way. So that's two Berserkers dying to creeps this game. And Happy finds more and more tankiness. He got the rings. He's got a belt now as well. And that might not be too bad. We saw earlier the Lich was in quite some trouble there on that one. The Lich only has the damage items. Remo Mantle, Claws bringing these big guns. Still on the mana potion. If this is the second mana potion. No, heal potion, but yeah. So much hero focus in this game. Always appreciate it. A player's force.
forces are under attack. Yeah, I think Cappy should put that belt on the Lich, by the way. That is definitely the most vulnerable hero. And didn't get the invul potion. Again, Soen gets the first invul. Soen got three invuls, the first three invuls on map one. <laughs> Cappy still could win without those. So reminiscent of the earlier game here. O Orc wants to creep his own turtle. Happy says, uh uh, that's mine. And here's the fight. Oh, this position, Remo. We've seen it before. Ghouls in. When so he was banking here for quite some time. Now finally breaks into upkeep. Kodo coming. So many berserkers. Can he get into the right position? There's quite some chokes. Here, here. It's not granted that all these berserkers are firing at what they yep. want to. The right starting position for the perfect concave is going to be very important. So I'm trying to swing around. You need to pay attention to that shadow hunter, as we know from Orkish. Careful. Yeah, you said it right. He was a little out of position. Now Soen's making double and triple sure that he's not too far forward. I think with the TC far behind. Making it a little harder, of course, to reach. Going for the Farseer immediately. Only has a town portal. Will he break through the silence and go for the fight? It definitely looks like it. Lads, fans, two destroyers in the air. One wolf down. Okay, but the second one, that's a lot of dispel used already. DK 50%. Hits with the chain lightning. Stomp in the front row. Coil barely noticed him, but he used some healing there as well. DK, man, is someone a little too stubborn? Only going for the hero, not for the units? It was close there to getting it. I think Happy missed one of the dispel with the destroyers. But the DK is safe in the back still. Those rings of protection working out here in the late game. TC needs to be careful. He doesn't have those rings. He can get targeted down quickly by the orb. And he can't run in. Can't use one of those stomps. I don't think he can fight. There's still a mana potion. He can nuke everything whenever he wants. And the TC has nothing to save him except the town portal. Can't really go. The hex on the DK was a Hail Mary attempt. But uh-uh, that ain't flying against Happy. And he keeps the consumables. Amazing. Gets another Berserker. That's number three Berserker donations. But more importantly... That Gargantian Sea Turtle is oh, yeah. maybe level 3 for the Lich. Archangel 4 already, DK close to 4, Lich close to 3. Huge level ups on the horizon for Happy. Wand of Mana stealing. Good for also, the against the TC. We have not a single consumable for Soen. Running in with a TC, silenced once again. That's level 2 silence, by the way. It lasts for quite some time. Destroyer position, always perfect by the way, never exposed to the ensnare focus, look at that! Ensnared but can't be targeted! Targeting is going on on the TC, he has to run once again away! No stomps! No stomps at all! No stomps, no speed stroll, no invuln, and I guess not a long life for the TC. He wants this DK, it's being dispelled, here's the Hex, TC needs to reach, he's nuked before, dodge, and that Ooh. is an escape on the TC! I did not think that would be Damn. enough. <laughs> that was also super nicely done by Stone. The way he combined there the focus of Hex, Stomp, Ensnare, Speed Scroll. Gets the TC out of there again. And he gets to the middle to get the Invul Potion. So oh. huge. Yeah, he needs that desperately. Also, I guess a Mana Potion on the Shadow Hunter, But it's so hard to afford. Both are rebuilding their armies. We're in again for a banger late game. A player's forces are under attack. Only one little green camp is left, and that is that might actually be enough for double level up for Happy. And those will be monumental. Lich now level three. The Nova so much stronger. The DK could consider going for Death Pact, although normally it's Aura, but it's not quite enough. Needing a bit more for four. Happy is adding an abomination. That's rare. Yeah, I guess he felt he had enough statues and destroyers already. But the ghouls were used earlier, so he doesn't have the lumber to go for. Disease cloud. Wow, I thought someone is dead in that fight, but he found a way. Dropping two items to heal faster. Mana's looking okay. Of course, not as great as for the undead. Thanks, statues. Did he already sell the altar? Not yet. 4,400 gold remaining. Don't have to worry about that, but Happy's pushing. You certainly have to worry about that movement. 
Great concave though for Soen. He can set up a really nice arc here with these headhunters and everything. Oh, didn't get the kill. Not having heal wave is so damn painful. Raider goes down, one snare, one end snare taken out of the equation. Ooh, and the Nova could be brutal! All the Berserkers lined up. Not too much mana on the Lich though. TC running in, silence again, breaks out of it. That's the Invul Potion out of the fight early. A bomb eaten by the Kodo, and I don't think Happy has the chance to snipe the Kodo. It's just too much damage. We're far out in the open now. Next Storm could hit hard. And Snare, he wants to DK again, huh? Or force the Town Portal to buy a little bit more time to reclaim shop control again. Chain Lightning last second. <laughs> Is it not time for the Invul yet? Ah, Fasir on the way. Is it ready? Oh, it is. Oh, wow, so it gets it again. That's so huge. That's Every why, time. That's why he puts so much pressure on the DK to force a town portal so he has some time to go to the shop. Otherwise, Happy had the perfect position to just retreat with one hero, get the invul, and fight. Happy buys a heal scroll. No TP this time. This could be the opening for Soen to finally get that hero kill that he's been looking for. I was thinking if he's maybe holding a skill point for Death Pact, but double aura it is. No potion, just a heal scroll, no invuln, but all of the rings on the DK. <laughs> he has 14 armor. <laughs> Before frost armor. Yep. That could also be added in later on. Happy's mana situation isn't looking that amazing though, especially the Lich, only with like... Maybe two Novas? Yeah, he's trying constantly to chip away at these units, using Coil Nova on Raiders especially. So he's never really full mana. So in moving out, third attack upgrade on the way. Seems like they're both playing around the Invul cooldowns. Yes. In the shop. It's 45. still 45 seconds off for the next Invul. This is a great position for Happy though. Yeah, Behind you don't want to go. Point, you so don't, you don't want to go in there, bro. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's supply block at the moment. Might cure burrow. Town portal. All right, he wants to play it safe. Ah, yeah, still 25 seconds till the invul. Pressure is building. Yeah. And the statues are regening. Mana is looking damn good now. He can't Cordova. engage. Can he? Silence, Lich. Lich. Oh, too much! The coil too late! That never happens, really! Good luck with the nuke if there's no Nova! So, in this time around, he may have it. And guess what? It's again the Invul Potion. The fact that Happy oh, doesn't have an Invul. Again! Right on time. Damn. He got a Swiss watch telling him the Invul Potion timings. Yeah. Pretty crazy, man. And now, so, does he feel strong enough to go for that tiny? Yeah. No. What did he invest into? No, it is tiny. There ah, we go. it's the tiny. Okay, 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 okay. I was confused. <sighs> Expensive Lich Tavern Revive. Happy knows what's happening, of course. Uh, Happy has to take this fight right now. He has to go all in. Dark Ranger far forward, the Lich back from the tavern. No Novas at all to be used right now. Let's go. Silence again, countered by Invul Potion. This time the coil hits, but not for much longer. 3 0 plus Kodo, plus Flute, <laughs> plus Endurance Aura. The damage is through all roofs. Plus 10 damage on every Berserker. It's absolutely nuts, this DPS that's coming out. Happy trying still to fight against the TC coming in. Stomp would be dangerous, but he's silenced. Death Knight takes out of right click damage. Also, the TC in trouble. Invo Potion, something has to be transferred. The TC, Soin! No! TC goes down! Shadow Hunter! As well! Invo Potion last second. He has no TP. Happy down to 44. Soin at 48. TC is coming back. Has no mana, of course. Shadow Hunter dead. TC blocks the way. Gives the aura more movement speed up for the orc army who's chasing. Sorry about the little uh, lags and spikes here. Can't do anything about it. Lich in trouble once again. That's the second last coil. But no coil at the moment. Dark Ranger, big axe comes in! And the TC is five all of a sudden. Madness! 
That's the last coil right there. Lich is almost surrounded. Oh Wolf my god. Block this. No new. Oh, Level four. four. I can eat the skellies. Oh my god. What is going on here? Hello. Foil and supply. Dark Ranger back from the tavern. That's the last little bit of lumber for Happy as well. Let's go. Main base is expiring soon. Soon as the great hole oh off. Can Happy break this with only a handful of uh, skeletons? So in evacuating immediately, he knows I want my workers. I want to keep them. I don't want to fight against more skeletons, but he has to. Dark Ranger level five, dude. What the hell? Without the Shadow Hunter, so it doesn't feel confident to engage. He wants to buy time until the Shadow is out. Twenty-five. But, dude, that's so much mana for the Lich. This is ridiculous with these skellies. TC could be nuked. He's trying to take them out. They will expire sometime, but not yet. So at 42, not mining at the moment. 300 gold left. Happy at 500. Oh my god, it's just endless Novas. The Kodo in the back, that of course is the slowest of all those units. Yes. DK? He's trying to go for him. Ooh, it's the Hex. There's the Hex. Destroyer's not the spelling yet. Missed the dispel, I think. Stomp hits him. Raider up front. Here's the chain lightning. He has the info, oh. but he doesn't have the time. And now he doesn't have a healer either. Dark Ranger getting right click. The chain lightning is enough. Hero goes down. Only one is left. GG called. And so in claims that game <laughs> after one hell of a battle. Oh my god. Warcraft, you beautiful, beautiful, beautiful game. Thank you for this level of entertainment. Dude, that was so sick. <laughs> that was such a crazy game. Oh my god. <laughs> Whew. I was about to oh, say it. the series is tied up, but that's not the case, of course, as someone had the lead uh, before. This is now once again the 2 1 lead. And we go on to Shattered Exile. So and so crucial with some really amazing target fires, popping the speed score at the right time, seeing the opening and getting those invo potions. If Happy gets one of those first three invulns, he wins that game, guaranteed. But so and controlling the map super well, great creeping, safe early game once again. He has really mastered not losing any of those headhunters early, love what he's doing. Great performance. So in really, really, really impressive, man. Oh yeah, and uh, I don't, I don't know what to say. <laughs> We're waiting for Soen at the moment. It's of course getting quite late over there in Korea. It might be 1 a.m. Uh, right now, but he, I guess, adjusted his sleep schedule according to this. Oh boy, that is a banger of a final already. We're only two maps in. I'm gonna switch something at Discord real quick because it sounds like you're a little robotic. But yeah, so in. Looking so damn good, man. If he gets the win on the next map, he's gonna be in a really, really good position to take this whole thing home. 3-1 lead would mean only one more map needed. And the next map is a bit of a rarity. Shattered Exile as map number four. Trying to look up right now who chose that map, by the way. I think that's also pretty interesting. I think Happy. Both players uh, no, are not going to be too familiar with it. I think it's ABBA, right? When it comes to the pickings. So Northern Isles was 100% yeah. Happies, yeah. Yeah. right? And then uh, it is... Oh no, in best of seven, the pick is ABBA. So... Should be Happies. Yeah, should be Happies. Okay. And this is going to be very interesting. We saw how important creep routes are, how important level up timings are. And for that, ideally, you want to have a very good understanding of the map. But Shattered Exile, almost nobody plays this map. Oh, Soen, you wonderful, wonderful, handsome man. What a fight you are bringing to the War 3 Champions Finals. Two and one lead. Thanks to the winner bracket advantage you got. And the map you won. Incredible. So, can you take the three and one? Can you claim match points? We're about to witness on a map that... <laughs> <laughs> that nobody really knows. Shattered Exile. Yeah, it's a four-player map. 
quite big as we can clearly see. Lots of creeps on the map. And we have two merchants. Which finally means both should be able to get invul potions. Who that favors then? When I mean, there's always invuls around, it's hard to tell. Whew. Any switch ups in the builds? Doesn't seem like it. DK, Farsia, Headhunter, more of the same. But man, if it's more of this same, please give more. Please give it all. And is there a renegade at the lab? I think there is, right? So happy. Might be able to start off very quickly with a lightning shield creep. Never mind. You see, <laughs> I don't know the map too well either. Weren't no renegade you a here. judge for the map uh, contest when this was selected? Uh, I was once a judge. When was that? I think that was earlier, though. Oh, that was yeah. with uh, nice Bright Water Oasis. One of my favorite maps. <laughs> yeah, that was a success story, wasn't it? Hey, I think it, it's just uh, you know a hidden gem that wasn't mm -hmm. discovered yet. Mm -hmm. One day. Okay, DK out, Farseer out. How good are the creep routes here? Is the question really? On every other map that we see in the competitive map pool, everybody knows how to get to level 2 the fastest, everybody knows how to get to level 3 the fastest. Here in Shattered Ag Ag Exile, things are not that fine-tuned. Maybe it's a little bit of an advantage for Soin, because this is also a 2 and 2 map, right? Pretty sure yep. it is. And I guess Soin is playing a little more 2 and 2 than Happy does. Yeah, happy more usually the 4v4 player every now and then. And the creeper here is looking a lot better for the Fars here. Look at that. He took out the lab already, heading over, and now the headhunters are coming out. Normally the undead can keep up nicely at the very beginning with skellies and DK, but once headhunters come into play, the creep speed is certainly going to fade so on. Okay. Lab opened up. A little bit of attack speed. So on creeping, as you said. With frost armor little harder than usual but headhunter is of course not that affected the early items pretty nice for so absolutely happy also finding very good dark ranger items though you and your obsession with dark ranger items it's like how do i dress my lady today what can i put on let, let me let me ask you a question you <laughs> have you ever seen a plus 17 edgy dark ranger lose uh, I can't remember. We might you be see? onto something. We might you be onto see? something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will uh, take notes though. From now on, last hit. Claws all goes to Soen. Wow. It's Farseer having some great items over here. Not necessarily known for being the cra craziest right clicker, but does help out quite a bit. And finally, one headhunter is going to get caught. This is amazing, oh. really. How Soen has been able to keep DC safe. This is the first headhunter dying in the early game in forever. Well, except to the one he lost to creeps. I mean, there was one the TC was already there. That's like kind of the okay. mid game. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 You know, uh, tiny, tiny difference between early mid game, late early game. You know, it's up for interpretation. More creeping, but now the DK is lurking around. He's not in rage, though. Almost scouted it, but didn't quite see it. Ooh, and that's another bracers. thing about... Oh! Yeah. There we go. Yeah. That's the item. Yeah. What a do or die item this is. Between heaven and hell is nothing when it comes to rune bracers. It's either amazing or absolute garbage. Happy scouting everywhere but that position. Now he finally sees it. But the headhunter is in a, in a rough position. They're kind of uh, stuck in a bad spot here. The Dark Ranger is joining. Might be a TP soon. You really don't want to do this. Wolves are helping, of course. Two headhunters fallen so far. That's still manageable. It's not the end of the world. But that one also going to get caught. Or is it? Yeah, it should certainly go down with the aura. I guess there's no way to save this one. Deny? But there yeah. is a way to deny, indeed. Thank you, Cheria, for the two euro donation. Thank you. Glad you enjoy this. TC coming as well. 
In impactful early tier 2. Not a game breaking early tier 2. Tier 3 on the way. So in a little faster with that. Again, I like what Soen is doing constantly and how well he's doing. Like, he can't even pressure more thanks to the rune braids because coils are not threatening at all for him now. Yeah. And again, he finds the window. Fast here is level 3. He's harassing, and the TC is creeping safely on another side of the map. Exactly what you want to do. And he can do this very well right now before their statue's out. This is a good timing. He's draining mana out of the DK. He's putting a bit of damage on. And he's creating space for the TC who can creep this middle pretty easily. Piercing damage, not taking too much damage himself from this, but three headhunters down, his creep speed isn't that high. Not the craziest, that's true. Happy uses a coil to kill a wolf to finally get that level two coil. TC leaves the water elemental standing, but the item was his to take. Once again, lightning shield could be put to good use. We've seen it before. Oh, and the illusion sees where the TC is. No easy camps to creep right now for the TC. The gold mine is being taken away. He needs a raider. So he needs this raider with ensnare and try to push Happy away because he needs to start creeping ASAP. Yeah, needs level 2, needs stomp. Talisman of evasion. Would have been a nice on the TC, but he has the rune braids already soon. It will be fine. So we're waiting for tier 3. Happy Parks Players units in the base again. Attack. No statue at the moment, but also no risk of losing them to a cheeky end snare. Oh yeah, that's a rough camp here. It's the biggest, but it's also by far the hardest. Yeah, oh, I happy think there's a uh, Sobi mask drop here. Plus some tomes, so also pretty rewarding. Alright, thank goodness I got that one right. <laughs> and predicted the item right. All right, we are once again taking a bit of a breather here in the mid-game. Maps being crept up. So an in position already to buy some info potions, which, as we saw, he will certainly need. And so it is he. He's getting a lot of experience now after the rat spot. Close up attack. Oh, not forgetting about that. Scratching at the level three. Goes to the shop. Another invo potion up for grabs. The game-winning item of map two. Or three, however you want to call it. Oh, the skelly. What about it? Did Happy check it in the north? Did he see it? Uh, I guess he's too far away for Creepjack anyways. I guess he... His, his conclusion is, okay, I take the red spot bottom left then. Book of the Dead, that's one of the worst items. Very unfortunate here with that find for Soen. But everything's so hurt. Imagine he was right now. Would have been nice. Imagine a carrion swarm right now. Imagine, bro. But <laughs> poor Dreadlord. Doesn't see much play. Hellstone ah. for Happy. Really good items. He's got lots of items to protect his heroes. Mana Stone, Health Stone, and probably also going to add in an Invul. I guess someone won't complain, though. With the damage on the Farseer he got, with the Invul he claimed, with the Rune Braces, with the Subi Mask. It should, should be okay. Alright, Lich joins. 50 supply. Is this where we're going to see the first fight happening soon? Happy 600 gold. He could easily mm -hmm. push into upkeep already. I just invested into the fiend, into the statue. Also got oh, it didn't get an item, I think. Or did he pass it already? No. Yeah. Was Invol on the left was out of stock, but guess what? Here ah. we go, second shop, and finally Happy gets an early invol pot. Yeah, it's also something I said during the Hive Workshop Cup, Hive Workshop Players Cup quarterfinals. Uh, it's fine to see that map makers are prioritizing maps that have more than one merchant. It's just two game breakings most of the time. Yeah, it's a fun mechanic as well when we have maps with only one it's very tense you know in the middle of the map but a bit of diversity yes it's about it's about the right mix that's what i said it's the right mix yes that's also why we would love to see another four player map making into the pool like this one ever since our dear old twisted meadows was removed 
for some deer, definitely old. Happy again working with seven to eight skeletons at the same time, soaking up the remaining creep spots here. Both going into upkeep. TC is three. Shadow Hunter might get solo experience. Yes, so in good min maxing here. Four and three. Got the necessary levels. He got the level two chain lightning. Got the level two storm. That's all he needs. I'm really curious how the rune braces are switching up the balance in the fights. Like the TC will have so much more longevity thanks to this. But first of all, there's a town board necessary. Shadow Hunter wants to get to <gasps> level 3 first, and he does get it! Wow, that's a huge level up! That's a R massive level advantage on the orc side. And for the first time, he finds the R Ring of Protection. I was rarely as excited about a Ring of Protection. Look at this! Look at this! That was level 2 Coil Nova! Here's the stomp. Let's go on to the Fiends once again. The Concave is good, but not perfect. Some Headhunters, not part of the fight, but that will change soon. And Happy again missing a Coil! The Rune Bracer is working out so well here for the TC. He is so well protected. The Pat Hunters running in as well, charging, looking for more kills. TC though, still dropping low. Invul is gone. But there's level 2 heal wave available. DK now getting targeted. Has lots of potions though. Invul potion dodges something. TC! Almost oh, going down. Last second save. Dude, this ring and Rune Bracers might be winning the game right now. Fnet, uh, another fiend down. He got a retreat though. He needs more mana on the Shadow Hunter. And the, the, oh. the Fasir. Oh boy! That hero probably the least important of the three of the orc, but of course good damage and the wolves will be missing. TC got to carry everything now. Trying to get into position for the perfect stomp. Borrow being used. No dust. Oh, the Farseer had the dust. The dust mm. is in the grave, which I guess, you know, fits. But we he have lots that. of Berserkers left. So and eagerly waiting for that Farseer to return. Mana on the Shadow Hunter needs the region. Got the clarity. Happy pushing forward. Level four Dark Ranger. Quite a menace. Potion of healing. Absolutely necessary. Just waiting for the next nuke. Waiting for the Farseer. All these Berserkers. We can see if they're getting targeted. How quickly they can also fall. Happy getting more statues from the main. Now he has healing and mana once again available. But in general, the mana count on Happy not too high. When the Farseer returns, Stone might be able to strike back. Yeah, and I wonder by now, shouldn't the Sobi be on the Shadow Hunter? Wouldn't that be the better yeah. mana region? Yeah. He can't get the Storms up anyway at the moment. The Shadow Hunter needs it so desperately. PC running in, gets off a Stomp, decently hit, walking away as well. The Ring also protecting him once again. Happy trying to kite. He's got the slight move speed advantage at the moment. <laughs> Can only buy heal selves. He didn't have enough mana. Uh, money for the heal potion. Or they're out of stock. That TC. Oh. Lich can just click it down. Can he not? Needs heal wave. Now gets it. Nobody's ready. Is he going to use it? No, lets the TC live for now. Is that perhaps a mistake? Farseer, how much longer? Someone is counting the seconds. 13. 13. And then he gets the wolves back and the dust back for the TC. What can he do? Another heal wave, but that was his last. Ah! Ah! <laughs> are you kidding me? FS back, wolves are howling, dust is there too. But the wolves were instantly dispelled. The impact from the Farsi perhaps not that high. Akoda Beast also about to fall. Happy with a huge supply lead now closes out the game. GG called 2-2. Dude, I'm sweating. How are these guys doing it? I don't know. How did that fight turn around? It looked so good for Sony at the beginning. He charges in with a speed scroll, eats the coil Nova. The TC kind of shrugs it off. He gets like two or three kills in the beginning, but then Happy just not giving up, staying in the fight, kiting over and over, moving back, pulling back his units perfectly all the time. And that Farseer loss, that first Farseer loss. That was the first nail in the coffin, I guess. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. What a series. So in at the 1-0 lead from the winner bracket. Happy at the first map pick wins this one. So in at the second map pick wins this one. Happy then reclaims uh, the tie in the series by winning his second map. And now it's So in's map choice once again. And whoever wins Turtle Rock claims match points. That is quite... Insane.
we're going for a tiny little break, everybody. But in just three minutes, we are back with the grand final of the World 3 Champions Season 9 Finals. Back at the grand final. Oh boy, what a grand final it is. And our prize pool is rising as well. You guys are donating like crazy. $10 by Nunox, $15 by Wickerman. My patient has ended for the Lich King. Rigor Mortis, $10. Great games, magnificent plays, stellar casting. What not to like. Teggy throwing in another 50. Happy ice cream money. Fake face turn. I'm moving, so I was supposed to save every penny, but you can't just uh, sit still watching those two clash. Mary with a 10. And mind you, this uh, 3,600 will be topped by Governor with extra 250. So currently we are at 3,885. Can we please bring this to 4K? It would be so, so lovely and so deserved for the players to what they are bringing to the table. An incredible series. Continue. Zzz. On Turtle Rock. It sure does. Kind of feels like Christmas, you know. These games are so damn cool. Super hype matches, so in and happy, bringing it to the table. An epic best of seven grand final. But now we're down to a best of three <laughs> with a score being four to four. And our match point map, Turn Rock. A bit of an unusual map to be seen nowadays. Dude, you've clearly never spent Christmas with, with my family. This is way better than December 24th in the Tiaks family. We got a happy in the bottom right five o'clock position, both spawning on the same lane, which makes creeping the merchant very, very important because there is a watch award. DK, Farsia, Headhunter. And if we don't see a Blade Master on Turtle Rock, we probably won't see a Blade Master anywhere. Yeah, agreed. This is such a good blade map. With the claws being so easily available, with a lot of turtles to be crept easily with grunts, and with the shop there as well, with a ward you can uh, pick up not too, uh, with not too much effort. Let's also do a bit with headhunters though. Creep the green camp first, get more headhunters out, go over to the orange and then to the middle, and with like three, four, five headhunters, pretty easily doable. And yeah, I think it's going to come down a lot to creeping once again. The hero levels seem to make the big difference normally. But how crazy was it that Soen lost that game? I thought he was so far ahead. Shared Exile, level 3 Shadowhunter before the first fight is usually so amazing to have. But I don't know how exactly, but somehow happy. Still was able to do it. E execution when it matters, Remo. It is a factor in winning games. Even... Though Twitch chat, Reddit, and a couple of discords might uh, think differently. This will probably come down a lot to items on the middle of the map. Four consumable up for grabs here. If you creep them fast, might be an issue. Acolyte pulls this, makes creeping the giant sea turtle a little harder for Soin. And it can't afford the last hit, and it's a mantle. Happy trying to steal the little turtle. Oh, he could have gotten it if he had attacked it with the Acolyte. The Acolyte falls to the Farsia. Yeah? Little jump start. A player's forces are under attack. And more headhunters coming in. Little turtle creeped as well. And both retreat to their orange spots. I'm trying to reset our Discord connection. You still got a little bit of the Robo vibe. But hopefully now that will be fixed. Test, test. Thank you, Cheria, with a two euro donation and Gokul with a 199. Thank you, thank you. Creeping continues. There we go. That's the items that we've been missing for Happy. It wasn't too many claws. It wasn't too many intelligence items so far, but here now, wonderful drops circling the map. And skeleton creep speed. We love it. On the other side, ring. The TC will be very appreciative of that. Now, merchant creep. Happy got the coil, Soen got the chain lightning. Who's gonna get the watch award? Happy has no more out of necromancy here, so can't summon these skellies too easily. This movement is I think very... Happy would be very satisfied with just sitting around here and just trading a few hits back and forth. We have seen it time and time again. That level three farce here, so important. 
So it's Soen who wants to keep creeping. Almost a surround here. I was wondering, is that a mistake? Maybe even the DK is quite tanky. You don't have the necessary damage yet. But he was threatening it, irritating Happy a little bit, maybe. But DK, yeah, chip damage. But that goes for both sides. Soen more interested in the skeletons to get a bit of experience. And damage on the fiends to force one or two coils away. But so far, Happy's HP and mana bar looks pretty good. Tier 2 is about to finish, by the way. One fiend is going to the middle, already in position to pick up that Dark Ranger. And this is the first time this whole series that the Farseer isn't going to get that level 3. And that doesn't bode very well for Soen. Yeah. He can't attack the merchant. Like, if the Dark Ranger comes in from the tavern to a creep jack, it's a disaster. Yeah, absolutely. There's one wolf in the middle putting some damage on the fiend. That's really cool. But running around the tavern, fiend does survive. And here's the dark ranger. And now how the hell does this fast here get level three? Yeah. I'd love to answer you. But I don't have a good answer, really. Tier 3, TC, and he's moving across to the right-hand side, but Happy knows exactly yeah. how Soen is moving. Hopefully. I mean, Happy read it's it right fairly away. easy, right? Like, there's... True. There's, yeah. <laughs> there's only one faster there, no units. It's a bit sussy. And Happy finds them right now. And snare. Oh, but also fiends around. It's gonna be a one-for-one -one trade. Ooh, coil. Uh, oh man. This might be a feast for the Dark Ranger if the Headhunters have to stay in here. But okay. Probably happy. Here comes the TC. Has to decide. Stomp or Aura. Probably Aura. Still. Oh, TK. A little bit Ooh. low HP. Perhaps thinking about a surround. Pretty even exchange. Two Headhunters for one Fiend. Happy. Oh, I think he may have forgotten about the tech a little bit. Tech Ooh. now starting only for Happy. That could have been quite a bit faster. He was short on resources, though. Did he prioritize something instead? No, we don't see any upgrades. Just units. Maybe Marco was slipping as it was a stressful situation with the DK. A and so and he really, back. really, really wants this merchant. But Happy really doesn't want to give this away. Yeah. So is missing the big power spike. The reason you go for fast here is because you have a stable early game, and then with a level three in the early mid game, you can really put on pressure. Missing that level three, I keep repeating it because it's so important, is a big problem. Happy again wants to stick around. Once the statue arrives, Happy has map control and should be able to claim this merchant. It is a slow early mid game for Soen. Not what he wanted. But also the Dark Ranger, making no progress so far. Also, the DK is far away from three. Happy now pulls back the Dark Ranger and will actually be giving away the merchant. I feel like with the statue, maybe he could have forced the issue. But maybe he doesn't want to be punished by the end snare. We have the Raider out now, and we finally have some lockdown ability for so. And we have a new sub. Thank you, War 3 Old Schooler, for the tier one. You came to the right place with that nickname, my friend. Wonderful Ogre Magi position. This ward in the middle of the lane has insane value. Also, Talisman on top of a ring. I don't yeah. hate that. That's great items for the TC, honestly. We've seen him struggling to survive this whole series. This will help. It's not quite good, as good as Rune Bracers, but it's pretty damn good. Speaking of good items, Happy finding the perfect drop so far this game. So it steals the big consumable in front of Happy's map, who's rather going for the red spot. This might be a game changer here. Wind of Mana stealing, not too amazing, but definitely better than having it in Happy's hands, constantly emptying the mana pool of the TC. Is Soen reading this right now? If he heads there to the red camp, there will be some sick spider senses tingling. No, no, tingling. no, no. He wants the second turtle. Nah, he's just gonna go for the turtle. All right. And the one of mana steel, okay, but certainly not the best. Invo potion, mana potion. Those are the big ones. Heal pot also. There we go. Greater healing. And I'm kind of surprised Happy's not trying for the middle more. Is he really gonna give away all four consumables? It's 
sounds insane to me as well. Good experience uh, too. Level 3, 2 and the Dark Ranger Shadowhunter is out and now we really see how late Happy's tier 3 tech was. Yeah. Shadowhunter timing advantage. Gonna join the creeping agenda here soon. TC creeping the red camp will finally get the level th uh, 3 here. Big item once again. Zoe Mask. Maybe give it to the Shadowhunter this time. That would be good. Happy on the way to the red spot as well. Who's creeping better at the moment? The red spot, of course, gives a lot to sew in, but that red spot will go to Happy. So kinda even with the two turtle camps. Put sew in in favor. To me, at least. And Happy's kind of concerned that Soul might be shocking around in the middle. He keeps his reinforcements in the main, so that means the Lich isn't even creeping. Just Dark Ranger and DK at the moment. What's the item up here? Belt. It's actually pretty good to protect one of those heroes. And someone's gonna get the third consumable. What is it? Big, Big mana. mana potion. Okay, that's a gift. Speaking of gifts, we got a big one by Mr. War 3 Old Schooler. A hundred dollars right in front of that push. I've been watching you guys for a while, created this account for this. You are invaluable to this community. Keep doing what you're doing. Cheers. That is way more than lovely. And we're glad you're with us, mate. That is so nice to hear, man. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Oh, oh big combo potion as well. So he got all four consumables. This should be impossible for Happy to take any kind of fight. So it has the supply lead. So it has the level lead. So it has the craziest consumables. But that is a broken burrow. A little bit of damage. And a TP force. So so it is off the map. But you know what? Someone can just go for the red spot. Happy will probably know this and try to contest this. But if he if the orc gets the red spot. Oh my god, does he have a lead? Yeah, and so it is faster there. With the help of the aura with the raiders in front, he should pull out the Ogre Lord. He's got the end snare to lock him in position. This should definitely go to Soen. And it's gonna put the Korean in a very good position. Dust claimed as well. Unholy aura. Wow. <laughs> He's got such sick items, dude. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. And that's kinda Happy's fault. He allowed this. Yeah. Starting with the merchant that he gave up, and then Soen was just, I don't want to call it like greedy, but it was just the rational thing to do to go for the turtle in front of his base and then it just snowballed. Supply, very even. Here we go, big fight breaks out, we're running in with a speed stroll, DK getting targeted right away. Notice spell ready for him at the moment. Stomp, a little bit too late. Was he silenced, perhaps? Yeah. Broke out of it with the invul potion. One fiend goes down, one gets devoured. Two invuls have been used already and stay on the destroyer. That one is definitely dead, but also a raider gonna fall. TC still has the big heal potion, lots of mana too. Never touched the one of mana stealing yet. Happy throws him down to 50%. Shadowhunter waiting for that level three. Ghouls are in, supply kinda even. Someone waiting for the tier two upgrade and the next burrow can now produce again. Claims shop control once more, repositions the army. Whoopsie, heroes, little far forward. Stomp, ends there, chain lightning and again the coil misses. Big mistake by Happy, that coil was just simply too late. Was he out of range? Maybe. Silence. DC in trouble as well, but there's the big healing potion. There's just so many consumables. So in has such an easier time taking this fight. Gonna force the TP out. 10 supply lead. And might be time for a tiny. Weekend Magus, thank you for the one euro donation. Guys, Sharok is from India. Okay. <laughs> Love the uh, Star Trek Deep Space Nine reference in your nickname. Man, Soen is having such a fantastic game. Is he just stealing involves on the right hand side? Attack. Wow. That's a sign of dominance. Happy still got the one invul. It was on the Lich. He thought the coil would be able there to save it in time, but it wasn't quite. And the Lich is so far away from level 3 this game. Shadow Hunter already got it. Huge advantages with Soen right now. Happy's best unit is, of course, the Lich plus. 
26. Okay, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> it is pretty crazy, but that's not all. Like, we got three movement speed boosts on Soen, basically, on a big map like this. Double Endurance Aura, as well as the Unholy Aura. Big Mana Potion still, Wand of Mana stealing still, level 2 Heal Wave now acquired. And Happy is missing big levels, the level 3 Lich. No Nova here yet. Gets one Headhunter for free. This narrow choke is definitely a wonky position. Yes. Doesn't, want, doesn't want to go in there. Both are, actually. Oh, the TC in the shadows. Oh. The cloak! The perfect cloak! <laughs> nice! No silence! But it is a little wonky to engage into this. No big heal potion anywhere. Needs a heal wave. There we go! Mana stealing as well as the invo potion. More and more and more. Storm should be coming. The fiends are just dying left, right and center. And here's the next storm. Oh my god, what a sick fight! But can Happy kill the TC? No! Because he puts the perfect timing on the town portal. And that is another wow. kill. That's... That was so well done by Soen. The yes. target, the positioning, the TP transfer, the invul timing. Damn, Soen. And of course, he's rushing to the shop. Wow, what a beautiful grand final. I could watch Orc vs. Undead fights for weeks. Just give me It's just, just the best matchup. It, it is! It's so cool. Sixteen minute mark. Three thousand gold remaining in the gold mines. Upgrades for Happy 2 and 1, 3 and 0 for so, and I think it's very interesting that he's not going for these different upgrades anymore that he cherished so well in the winner bracket semi-final between these guys. It's all about damage, Neo! Don't you ah. know this? As you say it, he puts, he presses the button and goes for steel armor. <laughs> yeah, I like that. The value is huge. It's a pretty cheap upgrade. How much is it? 150 or something like that? If you say so. Uh, Reddit says you know all the numbers, so I trust them. <laughs> oh, wait. I think the org arm upgrades are actually a bit more expensive because all, for all the units. So maybe it's 175. Uh, That's still will, very good. Chat will tell us immediately if we're wrong. 12 supply That's lead. Good. But we've seen bigger supply leads by Soen before. If you fail one fight, you lose the game. DPS is gonna be so crazy on both sides. And in we go. In will push on the Lich right away at the beginning of the fight. Dispel against the Hex. Lich caught out in the open now, by the way. Silence on the TC can break out with the Invo Potion if he wants to. And I think he does. The Lich is caught. The Lich might be dead with a Stomp coming in. He doesn't even need it. It's too much damage. It's just too many Berserkers. Too much damage. <laughs> it's ridiculous. He's killing everything in mere seconds. He gets the Stomp off. There's no TP. Breaks out. Uh, with the Invo Potion, super nice dispels once again. But the TC is just waiting. These seven seconds, they're sometimes faster than you want them to. And there's just no army. Happy's army is deleted from this game. Trying to go for a nuke on the TC, but thanks to these items, it's just not happening. Yeah, so in doing this so well. He's handling his hero so nicely between the items and the heals and everything. Oh. Dodges it now, or breaks it rather with Emo Potion. Lich is dead again. And that's it. GG. Match point for Soen. Oh, Soen is one map away from being the first Korean War 3 Champions King and the first major title of his career. Solo title, that is. Three and two. Everybody is winning their maps. Happy needs to win two. In a row. Ooh, baby. Yes. Thank you very much to Lonely Driver with two month resubs. As Walk with Three is life. Abracababra gifting his up to Zabi. And Insomnium with three month resubs says, F yes, I love Walkrow 3. And I can absolutely understand that here today. This grand final is wonderful. Happy. I think it holds on to Turtle Rock a bit too much. I think Turtle Rock should be pretty much always vetoed against Orc. But if, if you play it, like, you have to take some of those middle camps. You, could, you can't just give all four camps away 
at all those consumables and expect to have a chance at the fight. It's just not going to happen. And to make matters worse, because he wasn't in the middle and he was running around the corners of the base, he couldn't bring in the Lich. The Lich was super underleveled as well. Couldn't start creeping forever. That was... Uh, not the best played, I would say. Honestly, by Happy there in that mid-game. The early game looked good, but... So I just got way too much out of Turtle, Turtle Rock. Yeah, I agree. And then, after the good decision, he executed it so well. Like, it feels like he doesn't even have to think about what to do in these fights. It's just... Uh, I don't know if that uh, metaphor is right, but like Mozart playing the piano or whatever. He's just in the zone when it comes to these fights. It's perfect. Yeah, his TC control, the management of his items, invul potions and heal waves and everything, really, really nicely done. Soren seems to have reached a new level here. Whew, okay. Man, match points for Soren. Tension is building. Happy. Is he gonna bring it back? Bring us to one final map? That's of course what we're all hoping for. That's always the most epic when it all comes down to one final map. That one last showing to determine it all. The best someone has ever done was like top eight or something? Today in the finals. One step away from first place. And another win against Happy. Doing better against Happy than almost everybody else. Pretty crazy. <sighs> Autumn Leaves will be map number... What is that? Six or five, depending on how you want to look at it. And there... Should be a more even mid-game. There's no way Soen can get away with four consumables for free here on this map. And I would imagine Happy is going to... Apply a bit more pressure earlier. All right, we have a little bit of a discussion going on right here. Remo, you have to cover a bit while we're waiting for match points for Soen. Why don't you tell the people what we're celebrating here and why we are celebrating this so well? War 3 Champions, of course, is uh, the name of the tournament and the best source out there or the best platform out there if you want to play Warcraft 3, whether it be ladder games or custom games or even Legion TD. Check out War 3 Champions. It is all the wonderful things that uh, the team has been able to achieve over the last couple of uh, years already. Great features, great uh, system that they've implemented where Blizzard failed, War 3 Champions stepped up, gave us the best ladder that we've ever seen with different leagues, with soon-to-come automated tournaments as well, with uh, a wonderful ranking system, and with a community as well where you can take part. They have a Discord, and first of all, of course, to get started, you have to check out their homepage, w3champions.com. You can download the client and hop into the fun right away. Only takes five placement matches. That's going to land you in an appropriate league where then you can start playing games and maybe get all the way here. That's, of course, also how the players qualify for the War 3 Champions Finals, is by getting high, or placing highly in uh, the ladder. And at the end of the season, that's how they got here. We have 11 maps in the pool. That's also another area where War 3 Champions innovates. The newest developments in terms of uh, tournament pool additions have come through War 3 Champions. We have seen one of the special ones already today with Shattered Exile and... Yeah, Warcraft Champions is on the forefront. Warcraft 3, largely still alive to Warcraft Champions. I think that is no overstatement, especially for the West. And if you guys want to join the party, you can do it. As I said, w3champions.com. Or if you want to support them, don't want to play, but just support them, you can do that as well. They have a Patreon you can reach through their homepage. And also the prize pool that is still being increased. And Dating it right now. How much I is got the price it. pool at the moment? I gotcha. We are at uh, 3,945. So $55 away as uh, 
it's not what's on the screen. You have to add 250. Thanks to Stormy with a $50 donation, Ulf with the $5 donation, and Leroy Shankins buying a War 3 Champions profile picture. This might be your last shot right now, everybody. Purchase these profile pictures. They will never be available ever again. You will regret it tomorrow if you're still thinking about it. You shouldn't. Just go ahead. Just buy them. Both of them. Maybe uh, they will rise in value in some day. When people think, ah, oh, do you know how beautiful the Season 9 final was? You can say, ha, in my account I got that profile picture. I was a supporter. I enabled this tournament. And then maybe people will sell you, uh, will buy your account for $10,000. In the world of NFTs, everything seems possible today. The world is mad. And we are uh, waiting for Soen at the moment. He's restarting his software. And then we get the match points on the way. Ready for the decision, question mark. Autumn leaves the next stage for our battle here can happy bring it back take us to a map seven i hope so we're making by the way a really good case for double elimination and best of sevens <laughs> this should be the format for every tournament i think it's cool to switch it up i do like some single elimination matches as well if the stakes are so high and you don't have a fallback net and the the early stages are um best of five that also is decent but i wouldn't have implemented this system if i'm not the biggest fan of it so yeah all hail best of seven grand finals all hail soen as he has the 1-0 lead match points off we go all righty then let's settle in boys Two more subs. T-Burgers with a 9-month 3 sub. This is what a match. Warcraft 3 is a way of life. And Sour Lemonade subbing for the first time. Welcome. Thank you, guys. An incredible grand final could come to an end here. Autumn Leaves is the map. When we go according to the pattern, Happy wins this. And then we go to map 7. Wouldn't be opposed. But so and so close. Got one... Hand at the trophy already. It's gonna be a farce here, here once again, of course. No Blade Master experiments. It's all about the farce here, Headhunters, at the moment. I feel like Soen looks the best when we get to the late game, when he has had an opportunity to level up that Shadowhunter at least to level 2, ideally even to level 3, before the first big fight. On this map, that might be a bit hard. There's not too many easy to creep camps on your side of the map safely in the late game, unless you somehow manage to save the orange camps. But, uh, well, I guess I'm looking a bit too far forward here into the late game. But creeping is certainly gonna be very, very important from the beginning stages all the way into the late game. And who's gonna get the middle camps? It's also very important. We've seen this before. Usually undead have the upper hand in the mid game stages thanks to the dark ranger but maybe he can throw happy's hp down so he can't contest the middle or he's in there with the chain lightning you never really know both start at the berserker the normal camps is one of them going to the side to the merchant for an harass maybe and hey, there's a very uh, well-known level 3 creep out on this map. Green, Merchant, Natural. You can do in any order. Those three camps will result in level 3. Definitely a bit easier to do for the Orc once there's a couple of headhunters out. But at the very beginning, it's uh, still very comparable, creep speed-wise. Because the Undead can, of course, make use of the Skeletons. And the Critters right. working out perfectly. Exactly. As if it's designed that way, huh? As if the map makers put effort and uh, the thoughts into this. We well, crack. I have you know, Neo. I actually told Tenshi where to put the critters on this map. Oh, so oh Mr. It's Demon all Man. Thanks to me. <laughs> Ooh, it's all thanks to you. Yeah, yeah. Zach, a hundred five dollar donation. Thanks, War Three Champions team, for the awesome platform. Back to Warcraft team for the great casting and players for these awesome games. Save Orcas five dollar trips and one fifty. Treco Treco for the five dollars and three way K with another ten. Tam Tam and Lambda Beer Brauge. 
exploit something. I don't know, but we cracked 4K. Really, really cool, guys. Thank you so much for all your support. $4,000 for this tournament and more. Really amazing. Claw. Hopefully, we're gonna bring it full distance all the way for a map seven. Very, very peaceful early game this time around. Not mm -hmm. any pressure, not any harass, just pure creeping by both players. Maybe someone is thinking back to Turn Rock and fe or still feeling the pain how it was to play with a level two Farseer for such a long time and now definitely prioritizes level three and that seems the way to go. Ring again for the TC, wonderful. Cloak in this level of the game, also wonderful. We're just waiting for the TT. I think so. Take two First is about time. to finish. This is kind of a weird timing. He must know he's going to run into slow towers here. The DK got level three. All right, summons the wolves into the back. Wants to kill some acolytes. And he will certainly get some, but at, at what, what price cost? is the question. Exactly. One acolyte down, traded for a headhunter. Can he get a second one? Yes, 150 gold gone. It trades for two headhunters. When you compare them one by one, this is, of course, uh, better gold-wise, as the TP is gone as well. Two acolytes here cost 150 plus the mining time. We will, resolve, uh, we will see if this was worth it. Yeah. Oh, Remo's not a fan. Weird. Do you hear that voice? Do you see this? Do you hear the sound in his voice? Like so, <laughs> so it's not It's a bit of happy. a weird move. The thing is, this is this isn't just about the uh, this isn't just about the gold value as well. It's also about creep speed of the headhunters. Now only four are left. Um, the tech hasn't started yet. I would say this looks like by far the worst early game that Soen has had so far this series. Maybe he wants to lame a little bit across the entire series. This will delay level three, uh, tier 3 for happy, so the tech is still faster, but yeah, he has no TC, uh, TC out. That's an issue. Heal wards for happy, cancelled immediately, nice, super annoying. The heal wards are really cool right now though. Happy can bridge the time before he has statues for healing with those heal wards for healing. And with that, the Farseer can't harass uh, too well. But he did get that level 3, of course, so the wolves are putting pressure on Happy the way it's supposed to be. And the TC going over to the Merchant to get that fast level 2. Feels a little predictable. But yeah, I mean, there's basically no other way. There's a little jump start for the TC, then probably go to the natural. And we'll see where we go from there. No chain lightning attempt, thanks to the Wand of Mana stealing. There was very little mana on the Farsia. And yeah, kind of dominant early game for Happy here. Trying to get the second middle camp right now. When's the Raider coming? Once the Raider joins with Ensnare, then the Orc can look to be a bit more aggressive once again, but Raider hasn't been started yet. Only Ensnare coming. It's also the losses of the Headhunters here hurting. Of course, he needs to make those Headhunters, remake them to keep up the creep speed. Dark Ranger kind of low, got one uh, kill already. Farsia again into the main, this time early at the tech. He doesn't have a TP by the way, this is a bit scary. No Nova available yet, wasn't slowed, more and more mining time. Going so and so. Yeah, nice move with the Farseer, creating a lot of space, forcing the entire Undead army back into the main base. While well, the TC keeps on creeping and is gonna get that level 3 here in a moment. Soen clawing his way back into a decent position. Crystal Ball for the moment, maybe not too bad. Additional scouting, of course he would love to have some items that are more uh, favoring him in the combat. But yeah, Happy was slowed down for sure. Wasn't broken at all. That is already a 600 gold difference, though. Yeah. And a huge timing advantage on the Shadowhunter. This early game, Soen seemed to know uh, way better than it was doing than I was, because uh, this is looking perhaps better. That does surprise uh, you, doesn't it? <laughs> and the, question, the question is, how much can the Shadowhunter creep here? If he yeah, gets to level much. 2, that would be amazing, but 
Someone wants to take out the red camp as quickly as he can, so the Shadowhunter perhaps not going to get anything from this. Happy at the moment, far away, but with Unholy Aura level 2, you can uh, get rid of some dis distance very, very quickly, but I think he's focusing on the right-hand side of the map, and why not? There is still a consumable, there's still a red spot for himself. Here's the Shadow Hunter. He's out. Not moving at the moment. Ah. Escorting the Kodo now. Oh. The flames for so and very nice. This is gonna be a bit more DPS from that already dangerous TC. But the Happy got the next consumable. Wait, what happened to the first one? What's it was one the of mana stealing? One right? of mana stealing, yes. Now Scroll uh, of the Beast. Used it already? And the Scroll of the Beast has no dispel in this late game orc. Like so it never has the time to go walkers. That just Breaks yeah. all your timings, it's impossible. On paper, it would be the best counter, of course, to all the skeletons, to the silence, to uh, frost armor, etc., etc., etc. But no, no, absolutely not possible. So, and saw so Happy down there at the red with a crystal ball. Happy's trying to snipe the item as quickly as he can before the opponent arrives, and he gets it. Helm for the Dark Ranger, not bad. This would be a town portal, Happy. though. It is. No damage on the Fiend, but he gets the Dire Frost Wolf, which is a little bit of experience, and that is, of course, solo experience for the Shadowhunter. <laughs> Half a level, just like that. Wait, was that from just one wolf? Yes! Dude, that's so much experience. I, that's the level 6, right? It's kind of yes. crazy how easy that thing is to kill. Replenishment on the ground, not bad. But what now? Autumn Leaf is empty. Happy this time, by the way, puts the Perry Apt on the Lich. I think there was a slight mistake by him in the earlier games, not putting the belt on the Lich, having it on the Dark Ranger instead, and the Lich, for that reason, was always super vulnerable. This time, gonna be a lot more durable. The middle cap is still left, right? The lab? It's only the ah, null. Only the null. But that's, but that's level, level two, two. Honor, actually. Yeah, Neo and Remo in unison. Fight Bruin. That's level two, as we said. So, are we ready? Two Invo Potions on Happy. One Invo Potion on the TC. Needs it to get a big engagement. Silence applied immediately. So is the Scroll of the Beast. First Fiend goes down right away, but the scroll, scroll of Speed about to wear off. And that is gonna make things a bit easier for Happy. On the chase now, Coil flying. First unit goes down, Nova hits, more Orc units on the chopping block. Raider down, TC. What's this cloak worth? You need to get a connection, and now he finally does the coil again, a tad too late. And that's a result of two fiend kills right there. Can he reach? Can he keep that TC up? He has the town portal, goes for another stop, nuke, and exit. Sick We're fight. Trying to get one more devour. So oh my god, almost. And so on. Kind of winning that fight, right? He had to expend a lot of items, to be fair. But he's got the supply lead. Happy was also using again. items. He didn't use the invul. It's probably the best, but he got that scroll of the beast. And yeah. the wind of mana stealing is gone. His heal wards are gone. But of course, on the other side, Town Portal and Invo Potion. Happy smartly going to the shop immediately so he knows this. Or should know this. Should expect this. Can he go to the bottom right-hand shop and get the invul potion? Without an invul potion, he can not fight. Ooh, tense game over here. Happy down quite a bit in supply. Only two little creeps are left on the map. The trappers. A player's forces are under attack. Could be solo creeping it with the lich, but I guess he also wants to get some skeletons from this. Okay, TC makes it to the shop. Four seconds, man. His timings on shops are just perfect. Ooh, ooh, headhunter doesn't really know where to go. Should I go back? Should I try to reunite with my brothers? Survives for now. Mana at like 60-70% for happy only. Raider goes down the first hex. Perhaps a bit wasted. Invo potion used right away. He saw the TC running in. Ghouls, of course, dying quickly. Silence on the TC. Spell usage, I would say, not exactly perfect on the two sides. Perhaps the nerves a bit getting to them. TC is blocked by ghouls and skeletons. Very well done by Happy. That might be his way back into this game. 
first potion used. T Shadowhunters 2.6. He wants this lich again. TC connection. No silence. When is the storm? Where is the storm? New wolves. So in on his way to the championship. Maybe that fiend borrowed, but oh. doesn't. Oh, that storm! Should be another two fiends if he does it well. But also the TC. Gotta be careful. Chain lightning shocks happy. But the Okay, TC needs an invul- No! He doesn't pull it in time! Didn't expect the Noah to be coming in right there! TC dies! Does he have the resources for the tavern res? Not quite, but he's oh. close. Dark Ranger gets four. Last Raider falls. No ensnares anymore. TC returns. No mana. No mana, of course. Gotta get out. Gotta get out. Needs the clarity. Needs the potions. Supply gap narrowing. Undead heroes rising. Oh Shadow God. Hunter, no level three still. TC needs the invul. TC needs the invul. TC needs the invul. There's the one, one heal wave. He's only got the one. Oh, Fush here though. <laughs> He's caught in the middle. Didn't have a TP anymore. Is that it? Heal Must wave be. comes in. Level heal wave this time. A lot more healing to come in, but there is the coil. The TC dies, and that might be it. Unbelievable. Happy with the comeback again and again. And I guess we will go full distance in a best of seven series. Incredible game again. Full distance. One hour, Damn, dude. 40 minute series. It doesn't get much better than this. Uh, super cool. More than 5,000 viewers witnessing this one. Best of seven. One last final map. Happy brings it back once again. It is an an ever-present back and forth. Happy takes one map. Sowin takes one map. They usually got their map choices. Ooh. Now Conceal Tale, the last map to decide it all. I think, uh, Remo, now um, fair to say best of seven was a good idea. Yeah, super epic. It's always wonderful when these uh, grand finals go to the very last map. We have been a bit unfortunate at times when we saw quick 3 O's, but here today, it's certainly delivering. And so is Soen. That yes. mid game for him again looked pretty good. The tech advantage was really nice for him to have with the Shadow Hunter getting a nice head start. But then at the very end, things didn't come together too well. In that last fight, especially, the Shadow Hunter wasted a lot of his mana. Those hexes didn't really lead to anything. Happy there doing a really good job controlling the TC. With the ghouls blocking and the skellies and the silences. And then the longer the fight goes, if it's really, really long, dragged out battle with the skeletons and with the statues, the undead can come out on top as we saw there. And we're going to have one final decision. <laughs> okay. It's going to be concealed till everybody. We're waiting for so currently. Let's give these guys little bit of a breather before we go into map seven. One final break, a short one, and then we're back. Who's gonna become the new champion of War 3 Champions? Happy or so. Whoo, that's it everybody. Such a long season. The first season finals of 2022. Someone saved some firecrackers from New Year's, Remo. Yeah, this is uh, about as good of a final as you can hope for. Absolutely wonderful what the two players are delivering here. Really impressive level of play and super tense games, man. How many clutch hero kills, hero saves, focuses have we seen? Unbelievable micro, the kiting so wonderful. This is, uh, yeah, perhaps the best War 3 Champions final we ever had. It is time to decide this. The winner claims $1,000, 25% of the prize pool. So in for Korea with his first championship, or will it be happy again for the second time after season seven in this format? Off we go. Oh. So... What are we gonna get here? It's looking once again pretty familiar in terms of early game builds. Fasia Headhunters, of course, once more. Uh, Chad was saying it a moment ago already. Uh, what if suddenly crypto out of nowhere? I think. 
Uh, oh damn. Um, I'm trying to fix this. Okay, here we go. Issues fixed, solved. Hopefully. Remo? Yeah, I'm here. I don't even okay. know what was going on. Ah. So. <laughs> Sorry, a little bit of confusion. Uh, okay. Anyway, we didn't miss anything. No unit is out on the map yet. Now the Farseer is. Now the DK is. And we are ready to get this going. Acolyte scouting this time instead of creeping. This is not a huge deal, but normally nowadays Happy always uh, creeps with the Acolyte first. Because of course he knows he's going to be facing Farsi headhunters, but not this time around. Farsi going into the middle of the map towards the spider crabs, trying to kind of creep that away from Happy's side. As Happy starts off with a circlet, a good open, good omen for him here on the last. <laughs> okay, so in contesting the middle, gets of course no items here, but a decent chunk of experience, leaving the safe camps to a potential second hero or for the wolves and headhunters later and goes instantly for an arrest. A player's forces are under attack. If you could steal the last hit, that would be so huge to prevent the level two. Happy could invest the coil to secure it. Oh my god. The oh. And he almost missed it. Are the nerves getting to him? They normally never do. I was about to say this. So in. He was never in a position like this. Happy was multiple, multiple times, whether it be uh, weekly cups who had a lot of prestige because they were against uh, Foggy, of course, or other big championships, DreamHack finals. He's used to that and he never really shows nerves normally. Happy kind of creeping two camps at the same time, or at least getting uh, one of the creeps at the other camp. Farseer, a little bit stuck in no man's land at the moment. Yep. And the DK is going to get both claw drops. One time it was a circlet and the claws. And Happy is looking to stack up here soon. Yeah, all that saving creep spots for later didn't really work out. He got the two crabs in the middle. That's level 2.5, I guess. Should be a fairly fast level 3, but also Happy. He is investing a lot of HP for this. And he's getting caught by headhunters, but very hard to block with these squishy boys. Yeah, and having lost this much HP can be a problem, but of course, on concealed, we got fountains. Fountains normally known for being great for orc, but of course also for undead. It can be pretty hard to heal the early game, but here now, easily doable. But so and also wasting no time. He's gonna get that fast level three once again. Yeah, so was looking for freedom for quite a bit. Now he got it, goes for the shop which is relatively easy to access from his base, so nobody should really have an issue getting invo potions in this game. That is level three. That's the level two wolves. On the other side, the Dark Ranger is out and happy sharking, trying to find a connection. We are probably gonna have the tier three rush once again by Soen. Yes, indeed. TC, tier three, bestiary. That's the creep route. Players forces are under happy attack. going for the lab without skellies. It feels that... weird. Maybe he expected his opponent to be here and then doesn't want to go anywhere yeah. else because that would be wasted time. Someone dodging him. Yeah, this doesn't seem like the most efficient creeping, but Happy is taking valuable items away from the opponent's side. Consumables. We saw how much of a difference they can make, especially on Turtle Rock. But and someone Remo. finds a big mana potion. Yes. Wonderful. Was about to say. Uh, someone does the same spot, so they're not taking each other's consumables away, they're just trading them. And someone got the better end of the stick there. Waiting for the TC to come out. If you could snipe the red camp in the middle, that would be amazing. And Happy, because he has so few skellies, he doesn't really have scouting information. He doesn't know where the opponent is, what he's up to. And so and about to take the biggest camp on the map. That Dark Ranger power spike fell into a void, basically. Didn't get much done with her. Now, of course, a bit, but yeah, that is opening up the red spot for Soen. Oh no, oh no. Oh, can he block it? This would be oh a lot of wasted time. God, happy season. He's not there. Don't tell me. Don't, don't tell, tell me. me. Don't tell me. 
No! <laughs> Ooh, that was close. <laughs> we did it before this turn. He sure did. <laughs> He's done that many times. But Soen claims the experience right here. Dude, my BPM is at 300 or something. Dark Ranger keeps on creeping. Pendant of Energy. Sick drops for Happy this time. Scroll the Beast, not the best item, but also not bad. But the rest were absolutely amazing. True. For Soa, not really. Ancient Django is rather a sell, and he will be happy that uh, his opponent didn't get it, because that would be insane movement speed. Claw dropped as well. Tier 3, once again, a lot faster for Soen, but man, the Korean is greedy, and he might get punished for it. Oh, the coil, too late. Happy, not quick enough with that usage. Slow. And now taking a fight without mana, the DK in trouble. Had to TP out because Tom was coming in. And so enforces Happy away and even gets the rest of the camp. Damn, that was super quick and basically the perfect response to this creep spot. He will not even lose any units. And any HP if he's careful. He can just heal up at the fountain now. Got the flute, it's excellent. Lines up the Shadow Hunter, lines up the Berserker upgrade. So in. You are. You keep on impressing, mate. And Happy can't creep the fountain himself because he doesn't have a web and he doesn't have destroyers yet. Yes. This is one of the big advantages in the late game creeping or mid game creeping for Orc. The fact that these fountains uh, are way easier for them to creep. Happy gonna steal the natural away, but Happy in a dangerous position. Great item for him. I ah, rebought the TP. Okay, you rebought yeah. the TP to evacuate if he has to. And I think he has to. Double pendant, of course. Nice! For more silences. Here come level two wolves. And he has to get out immediately. Would love to have a chain lightning connection. Gets the fiend again. Happy tried to get a silence off. And he did. So there was no chain lightning. But the damage was enough anyway. And we are inches away from level two stomp. Dude, if someone gets all three red spots, that's insane. He shouldn't. And he might get it, but Happy is around. He knows what's going on. Ready to pop that scroll of the beast. TZ gets level three. Perfectly in time. Do we have an invul? No. Only a TP and the mana potion on the Farsia. Silence hit well. Coil Nova hits well too. We have the ghouls in and the massive scroll of the beast. So in. Is that the right moment to fight this TC? Uh oh. Uh oh. No invul pop. Happy stole it away at the shop. Soen couldn't go for it. Is the Invul Potion really going to decide the series like it has shown before? One statue going to be taken up, but the Aura now missing. The TC being gone is so painful. Happy, though, also basically out of mana. And 16 supply down. How much is the TC worth? Happy still of the opinion that he can fight this. There's a t Invul traded. He wants the Kodo gone before he's out of the fight. Trying to escape. Is there another Raider? He's blocking himself a tad. Happy down to 34. He can rebuild quickly though. Trying to fall back to the main. Statue gets caught. <laughs> but now the Berserkers streaming in one by one. Taking quite a bit of damage there as well. He the scroll the of, uh, Has to save the statue indeed. Pulling it back into the main statue should be saved. Morset? Oh, oh, sorry, almost going down. Oh, oh, oh. That would have been expensive, but, but I guess it's not that base, Soen. He, he got this objective. He wanted to get rid of the redo, and he did. No HP regen, no mana regen currently until the next statue is out, which is seconds. But, you know, seconds can be uh, the difference between a coil Nova and no coil Nova. Skelly in front. One more. Berserker gonna fall. Lich out of mana, so can't get these kills too easily on more Berserkers. Trying to block more these skellies. We have seen that before. Very, very dangerous. Palms are sweaty. Knees weak. Arms are heavy. 20 seconds for the TC. Still willing to fight. Still no heal wave. Oh. He would die for a heal wave now. As all the headhunters don't look good. The Kodo is blocking that Shadow Hunter. Can't lose the second hero. Can't lose the second hero. Anvil Potion Dodge. Yeah, he uses it, saves the hero, but the Immel Potion is now gone. The TC, when he returns, won't have an Immel Potion, but the DK getting targeted as well. Ensnare, though, wears off. Only one Raider is left trying to focus it. Ensnare, or Raider, rather, gets taken out. But one Fiend falls as well. Level 5 on the Farsi already. Invis Wolves now. Invis Wolves, indeed. No. 
detection oh for happy. The bare knuckle box fight best of seven continues. We are approaching the two hour mark in this final. Is happy going to creep the fountain or does he think it's too dangerous? He could possibly get creep jacked here. And now Sowin is coming over, but is that too late? Two destroyers in the air, wants to creep this camp fast. DK level 4 is going to be a good level up. Happy is close to lots of level ups, in fact. Invis Wolf, see this? Pit stop at the shop, is a GP, nothing else. Has no resources, both around 50. Six supply of Happy, not in the fight. Chain Lightning, not available. Wants to go for the statue, TC has a lot of mana. Do you want to fight this? At the Fountain, Lich level 3, statue taken out. Level 2, fight! on the Shadow Hunter, that's a game changer. Destroyer taken out right away, so is a statue, no healing at the moment. Happy stuck here without a TP, morphing all of the statues into destroyers, trying to deal with these wolves. TC uses the stomp, he's got one more of those. Who's With the Berserkers. Who's stuck Party with falling. the Chain Lightning? Takes out more fiends. It's just two destroyers and the heroes. There's another stomp, there's another Chain Lightning. Soin is with his back against the oh fountain. It might be happening, but Happy <laughs> escapes that Russian Houdini. I have no Jesus. idea how he does it. I have no idea how he survived this, but he did. But his army is basically not existent, and he lost ghouls as well, selling the Alta at the 13 minute mark. What a tense game. So, and how much gold does he have? Nothing. Well, basically nothing. There's no way he can go for a tiny great hall in this position. He got the invo. At least that. A little bit of experience. Shadowhunter making his way up to three. And the wolves. No upgrades at all on Happy, by the way. So the late game advantage with upgrades could be quite noticeable on these berserkers. Mining time acquired. Invo Potion on the DK, Dark Ranger Boots of Kelthalas, that was the find here. Yes, of course, wolves are experienced, but he needs uh, dust for this, otherwise they expire. Oh, they do reveal themselves. Okay, resummon them. Oh, no, just expired? All right. So, so, and what's your next plan? What's the... What What's next on the list? I'd love to see a sacrificial pit here for Happy. He's almost got the lumber. For it, that shade for reveal can be very helpful against the wolves. Shadowhunter, can he get that level 3 before the next fight? It would be so important. Missing just a bit. Concealed hill is mined out as well. Mana potion the DK for more coils. Wolves again and again and again. So in breaking up, keep... Oh, that's an echo Oh, just barely not getting the connection. Oh, Jesus. Happy is fully expecting a tiny. Town is under siege. And that's not the case. And with the Acolyte harass over and over, Soin has gotten ahead in economy. He's got a 10 supply lead right now. Happy looking for perhaps an easy burrow bust. But Soin is here ready to defend. <sighs> that position is weird, though. How do you engage that bottleneck? You don't wanna. Many fell to it, but Soen trying to squeeze through. Silence coming in. Hex on the DK. Just go away. He has no TP. Massive happy set to stop. And the headhunters somehow get the connection. Level 3 is finally available. But now everything is blocking itself. Still, Soen the one getting the kill. Happy trying to work with the nukes from range. Silence again on the TC. Doesn't have the invo potion anymore. Oh, so and Happy though, no fiends left at all. Yes, 13 supply lead. Where is Happy's damage outside of Coil Nova? Destroyers, once they have mana, but that is trickling away. Slowly but steady, TC has no items anymore. Might want to retreat for another heal potion if they are available. So much damage. More destroyers getting morphed. <laughs> oh my god. They expire! Like, not literally, but once they have no mana, they almost have no value. Happy finally going for the Sacrificial Pit. Expensive. These destroyers always have to be kept at range. You never want to fly in too eagerly into the Berserkers because if the volleys land, the destroyers go down quickly. Three attack upgrades and Kodo Aura. Kodo Aura coming now might take a little while, but then the damage is just off oh my the charts. <laughs> How do you withstand this without 
any different upgrades. I wouldn't know, you know. No invo Happy is getting more food right now. If we stay in this economic scenario, Happy could uh, benefit from this in the long run. Are under attack. A big grand final is coming to an end very, very soon. Five minutes max, maybe. Ghoul Frenzy. That for Lumber. I guess he feels fiends aren't going to do it anymore. True. But... Like, against the storm ch and chain lightning level 2? It's hard to imagine how that's going to work, but... Forces are under attack. Well, oh, we'll see about that. Again. Happy will, of course, mine a little longer. It's at 2300 now. It's already 500 difference. TC is waiting. It's 30 seconds till the next invo. But there's Second a shift. Thing into Frenzy Ghouls. The last game of the tournament. Suddenly, Happy starts playing Frenzy Ghouls. Will someone be shocked by that? Or will he just destroy them? If the Dark Ranger lands the Silence and the Ghouls get past the TC and the Nova, right clicks, everything lands on the Headhunters. They could die very fast. It's either genius a player's forces are or will attack. completely get wrecked. Someone got the end bomb. Both at 60 supply, dead even game. No mana potion, no heal potion on so and side. Upgrades, of course, clearly in favor of so in three and zero. Let's go! Who's going to become the War 3 Champion Season 9 King? It's probably about this fight. Can't dodge the spells. Breaks through the silence. Level 4 on the TC. Can't get a stomp off, though. And Happy that... again, playing around the range. Yeah. He baited the invul out. TP transfer onto the TC. I love that. Okay. Everything to protect the cow. Coil is ready. Locked and loaded. Here's the storm, but the DK dodges it. Now the TC is in trouble. Chain Lightning is a tad too late. Needs to get out. Needs to get out. Does get out. One destroyer also gonna get killed. Happy down to no upkeep. And so in. He lost like almost nothing. nothing. Perhaps no units in that fight. Invo potion, of course, is a big loss at this stage. Might need to go to the bottom side. Happy didn't steal it away. Happy still checking for an expansion. Not happening. 20 minute mark, 700 gold for Soen. Death Pact on the DK, by the way. Happy playing it careful. Soen, he saw pretty much all of his friends getting titles. Focus at NEXT, Sock won a Dreamhack, Chemico won a Ted Cup. It's just him. Oh, and guess what? We still don't have reinforced defenses! 20 minutes into the game! It started now, but that's gonna cost at least three burrows, I think. That's expensive. We'll probably trade it for TP. Good old destroyer bust into the burrows. We don't <laughs> see it much of anymore nowadays. Oh, the Dark Ranger could be in trouble, but the silence was there. Okay, so one can't build any units. I think it's too expensive to rebuild them. He doesn't have the gold. He has 500 gold left. Invest into items, otherwise you... I don't know. He has oh a mana potion, heal potion, invo potion already. What's Happy's follow-up? He has a thousand gold once this is mined out. Do what do you spend your money on now? Yeah. What? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I, no clue. I, I tell you what he should have spent his money on. Reinforced defenses. <laughs> now it's going to finish for one single borrow. All right, cool. Or maybe for towers. <gasps> Expansion. Ambitious. Someone wants an overtime. Yeah. Happy season. He's going to need like five minutes for this expo to finish and all the borrows so he can finally make stuff again. So Happy yes. has to make a choice. Break it or make an expansion of his own. <laughs> Man, this is one hell of a final. Nobody's mining currently. Alright, Happy was very cost efficient. He was almost always in 
No upkeep this game. More ghouls, more destroyers. Happy can get up to 70 supply. Gets involved. Someone is checking. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Invo potion on the DK, of course. Heal scroll, death pact. Invo potion on the lich as well. Only the dark ranger exposed, but there should be coils. So and it's just waiting for the final storm. Scouts everywhere. Even the acolytes being brought. <laughs> Everything course. coming in. This is as all in as it gets. All right. How many destroyers do we have? Five destroyers in the air. Question is, how long will the headhunters survive? Yeah. Happy has to try to snipe them one by one as quickly as he can. Invul potion is available. Happy has the gold. Every single hero has an invul. Destroyer mana oh, yeah. slowly ticking away. If someone can store more time. The Shadowhunter and Farseer also have to be very careful. They could be easy snacks. So in. Here comes the Coil Nova. This is one fight for glory. TC down to 50%. The Storm lands on a lot in the forefront, but none of the heroes. Maybe the targets have to be switched. Destroyers destroy the uh, wolves. TC in trouble down to 50. Has the heal wave soon. Oh my god, the DK! Loses the first hero, and that might be it without the Death Knight. Happy might finally be dethroned. The dispel wasn't there in time. He had the invo potion, but couldn't pop it. The ghoul's all taken out, and so on. Chasing for more. Oh boy, he was waiting for the silence. He's waiting for the silence. Another nuke comes in, but that should be enough. Happy can't rebuild. Of course not. He has no income. GG! Our champion, our first Korean champion, is so in with a win of a lifetime. One hell of a performance, man. Bringing him all the way to the edge. Happy. Losing two times against Soen. One in, in the upper bracket semi-final and here in the grand final. Soen really seems to have reached a new level. Not just against Happy, also against Focus, against Foggy. Soen looked so damn good. Unbelievable. He didn't lose a single series. And to be honest, before that last fight, I wouldn't have put a dime on his victory. I thought, okay. It's, it's, it's like always. We had this amazing series and the underdog is playing well. And in the end, there's one big fight and Happy wins it as always. But no, no, not this time. So it does it. First big tournament win of his career versus Happy in a best of seven. Yeah, really, really, really cool. Uh, what a fun ending to this tournament as well. A best of seven grand final. What more could we ask for? Well seeing all seven maps and we did the players delivering like crazy also shout out to foggy who played partly really really well didn't really have uh, much of a chance against happy but made it to the top three regardless focus against happy earlier today started off the day very well that was also extremely <sighs> close but the limelight belongs to soin taking first place where nobody would have expected him looking at these top eight maybe soin was the biggest underdog. I agree. Like, yeah, I guess who else? If you ask me that way. There was a happy dominating Dreamhack. There was a foggy dominating the last season finals. Focus number one org in the Edo ranking. Oh boy, will someone make a jump in these Edo rankings next week, by the way? Yep. <laughs> Hawk looked damn fine. Chemico looked so hard. It's just... Wow. Wow. Can you ask him if uh, he wants to come on the line for a second? Oh, and yeah, we might have a winner nice. interview. Chat is exploding. Welcome to a new era where Happy loses online tournaments. Like, sick run through the lower bracket, by the way. Gotta say that. Like, someone defeated him twice in the span of three days, but man, did Happy tear the lower bracket apart with wins over Hawk and Focus and, like, Foggy stood no chance today, really. Yeah, we saw him uh, 
look way more competitive than that before, but Happy's still looking utterly deadly against Night Elf. All right, so is typing something. <laughs> it's pretty late in Korea. Yeah. What time is it now? Uh, plus eight. So, I don't know. Uh, 3 a.m. or something? It's totally fine if he doesn't want to. Uh, I, if he's I too tired. To come on. All right. I think... What a legend, man. What a legend. He did what? All right. Like, did anybody Just... defeat Happy before the best of seven? Lol, I did once, yes. Keeper okay. days. Wow. <laughs> That's a long time ago, mate. <laughs> Okay. All right, he's coming over to the computer, and... Wait, where was he? <laughs> ah, probably celebrating. Popping those champagne <laughs> champagne bottles already. All right. Oh, I'm Wait so a minute. Happy Should work for now. Him, there we go. Hello, Soen. Are you here? Can you hear me? <laughs> yes. Okay. Congratulations on your win. First place, so in goddamn, what a grand final. Crazy games. <laughs> Chad, how do you feel? Going on? Huh? How do you what feel? Oh, uh, no, I, I cannot believe I win happy two times in this rig. So uh, maybe it's uh, so lucky for me in uh, like item lock and ping lock yeah you also played amazing though it seemed like you uh played better than in any other tournament before how are you so good suddenly you defeated happy foggy focus how are you so good now oh mm. I don't know. I don't know how can I win that strong guys in league. Just um, I um, um, I was so uh, concentration, co concentrated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. super concentration. Uh, there is no way uh, if I lose this game and i i will i will go out this league and so i i uh, i send my in brain <laughs> i have to win i have to win like that <laughs> so nice yeah. man I'm, I'm so proud of your performance here but uh, and before the tournament started yeah. what was your goal oh I didn't make any goal in uh, in this league. Uh, if uh, it's, uh, in fact, uh, there's other league in China, uh, League of Nation Cup. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, just I I want I want it I want it uh, uh, a few win, just a few win in that league and in this league. <laughs> Well, that, that was uh, way more than a few wins here, at least. Yeah. Uh, it's $1,000 for you. What will you do with the money? 1000 Yes, 1000 really? Yes. Oh, maybe... Um, uh, uh, it's uh, in Korea. It's uh, uh, happy, happy New Year in uh, February. Near February, so I will I will meet my neighborhood friend, so I can pay for them. <laughs> <laughs> That's super nice of you. So, and once again, congratulations. We know it's super late for you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the night and you can celebrate a little bit. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. What a hero. What a hero. Yeah. So proud. Wonderful story. Great to see 
another guy up there. It's not always happy and foggy. We have a new player on the throne. So in. Finally, finally has found his time. Maybe 2022 is his year. What does that mean for him? Can he keep up this level of play? Can he keep up his motivation? Can he keep up his concentration? As he said, I have high hopes for him, man. That was absolutely amazing what he did yeah. here. The execution in the fights were god tier great. He barely did any mistakes. And yeah, I, I think what came through through this interview here is like, I was just in the zone, is basically what he said, right? I, everything clicked, everything was the right move. Oh man. Um, after so many years of standing in the shadows of the Lins, the Moons, uh, even Focus Law Lion, Sok Chemiko. Incredible. Incredible. Incredibly happy to see his, his rise this weekend. At last weekend. <sighs> yeah, absolutely. As he said, there's also more tournaments going on that he's going to be participating in. I'm so curious what the elo jump for him is, is going to be. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it must be like 50 elo points or something. <laughs> Millions. Yes, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> that uh, might put him in first org position, although there's quite some points to be gathered there. But yeah, man. So and looking so damn strong. We have a new hot contender for the orgs up, out there. We always knew Lin was a giant threat and same for Focus and Fly, although Fly Perhaps not as much at the moment, but so we're now stepping up to the plate, stepping into the Pantheon. For sure. It's just very, very few people who were able to claim this prestigious tournament. He's now uh, in one sentence with the Happies, with the Foggies, the Hitmans of this world. Uh, uh, and Deuce. <laughs> 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 no disrespect to do. There was a great performance there as well from him back in season three in the Americas. Oh man, couldn't have hoped for for a better tournament, a better ending. Um, yeah, just, wow. even I feel a little overwhelmed with emotions right now. Sick. Yeah, here comes our conclusion. The season nine finals are over. And it was all possible thanks to you guys. The support from the community again has been amazing. More than $4,000 raised for the prize pool for these players. War 3 champions once again uh, delivering as it always does. And you've also been wonderful to us as well. We had lots of subs here coming in that uh, we didn't all mention yet. Where did we leave off? Dude, I was so in the zone of casting this game. <laughs> uh, let's go top to bottom at some point. I will remember. Nerd Factor, three months. Carson's Mustache, thank you for the gifted sub. Nartam, uh, Netram, or Mar Martam, who knows? God Goodkov, Mad Dion Forks. My heart can't hold this. Our uh, Brazilian caster friend. Bye, Sly, Xavier Next, Dachpappe Rockt. Welcome back, Herr Rimmel. Sad wow. Peanut butter pancakes gifting, uh, uh, resubbing storm or gifting, sour lemonade, tea burgers. That was it, I think. What a match. Walker yeah. 3 is a way of life. That sounds very, very fitting to me. Yeah. Hello, Hello of a comeback for you, Mr. Demo Man. Yeah. Thankfully, uh, I came back in time to not miss this one. I would have been <laughs> really sad. If I had missed this grand final. It would have been so was. fitting, though. <laughs> you always miss, seem to miss great moments. Oh, and, you know, finally, time. I'm here when happy loses. That normally also never happens. It's That's a new it year. It's, uh, it's absolutely spectacular. Yeah, that is, I guess, where the Warcraft scene is going, everybody. Oh, $150 more to the prize pool. 4001 Boom! Plus the 250 from Governor. Um... Yeah, I guess this is this is where the scene is going. We have the Ritu Cup coming up tomorrow. Is the being esports qualifier 19 o'clock? You should all sign in and support this tournament. Lead Desk is supporting us, so you should uh, show that it's worth the support. And then Re Ritu Cup from Tuesday on. Yep. Um, ESL Meisterschaft is continuing from Tuesday on. We got so much and yeah, we will definitely uh, help out with our own cups. 
have to do a little bit of tinkering, but we will have we will have great cups coming for you guys. Um, support War 3 Champions. Give some love to the War 3 Champions uh, team on Discord and on Twitter. Uh, I couldn't do this without Duro and Nohiro and Grinchy and Bisha, so my heart goes out to them that we created this together and Riptide for these freaking graphics. And what else can I say? So in for the win. And to many more. Season 10 will be coming, Season 11 and beyond. War 3 Champions will return. I hope so will you guys. We certainly will. And I'm excited to start really fully into this year of Warcraft 3 and to see you guys more in the future. Adios. <laughs>